Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to meet Cindy. Hi Cindy. Hello Bob. And we're going to see the teeny tiniest travel home I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and I, so I'm just really curious to see how you can turn uh, a Fiat uh -huh. 500 into a comfortable home. Well, it helps to be short. It does indeed, very much. And so are you full-time now? I am about half-time. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother's 88, so I do like to go home and spend time with her. And uh, so I'm usually a month or two out and then back to visit home and mom and uh, then back out again. Right. I've always thought that was the ideal way to do this. Yes. If, if you can have a home base, you're in and you're out and you're out enjoying your life the rest of the time. Yes, and she watches me, you know, through the satellite co connection. Right. She enjoys that. And yes. Telling her friends. <laughs> uh, and so how did you end up uh, out here? You know, was there any special thing that made you come out? You. Me? <laughs> well, nothing special about that. Yes, very special. Um, I started watching uh, your videos, and I was like, oh, that looks fabulous. I used to backpack, so I have uh, camping experience. And at the time, I had my Fiat, and there was no hope of getting another vehicle. And I was like, well, I'm going to build this out. And sure enough, I did. Yeah, and it's it's really great. It's bigger than a tent. Yet his own, <laughs> so much bigger than living out of a backpack. Yes. How are you supporting yourself on the road then? I'm a retired uh, rural mail carrier. And so I'm living off my uh, retirement and a little bit of my savings. And I will soon start drawing Social Security. Mm-hmm. That's a good day when you start drawing Social Security. <laughs> yes, I'm looking forward to it. And so you had the Fiat, and it's good running condition, and you thought, Yeah, it's uh, 2013, and right now it uh, has about 105000 on it. And yeah, I've taken good care of it the whole time, and I absolutely love it. Wow. And that was the reason I bought it. I, I, I love tiny things, uh, everything tiny. And uh, when I, I was delivering mail, I had to deliver to the airport. And part of my route was to go around the lot of a rental car lot. And I saw Fiat in there and I was like, oh, what is that? <laughs> so it took another three years after that, but I did get a Fiat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And does it get really good gas mileage? Oh my, yes. Uh, right now with fully loaded to travel, uh, it's saying 39.5. Wow. wow. But in town, when I have some of the weight out, uh, 42. In town? It, well, I shouldn't say that. I don't travel in town much. Mixed. I, we, we live out in the country and, yeah, mixed, 42. Which is really realistic driving. Exactly. That's really what most people do most. Is, right. And if your goal is to go home and be with family and then back out, yes. that, that becomes pretty important. Especially since home is Virginia. Yes, that's a long ways. That is a long ways to come back and forth right. out west. Yeah. So would it be okay if we took uh, a look around your, your home? Sure. It'll, it won't take very long to do this tour. Well, <laughs> you might be surprised. Okay, I hope so. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. These are Legos. Legos. They are true Legos. They can be found on the Lego website and maybe some other toy stores that carry Legos. They are built uh, for the storage of the small Legos. But these are the drawer units. And these are the lift top storage bins. Amazing. They all come together just like regular Legos. Stack up. This is a little single one without the top, where I have my vinegar and water to wash my dishes. Why Lego storage bins? How, how did that happen? Well, as an adult, I still 
play with Legos. So I'm familiar with the Lego website, and when I saw these on the Lego website, I got some for my home. Well, then when I thought about coming out in, in the vehicle through your inspiration, I thought those will work. They'll fit in there just fine. Now I had to get some more of them. And um, I'm sorry to say they're not the cheapest option, but I love the color and I love the way it all perfectly fit in there for me. Well, it's, it's whimsical. Yes. It's playful. It makes me happy. Yes. Yes. Uh, that's uh, the most important thing. Right. That's the goal. The goal is not come out here and suffer. No. It's to come out here and, and have your have best fun time. Have fun and yeah. have, meet people. Right. It, it is great. Yeah. This is pretty much my camping setup because this I've been out for over a month now, been living in my car. So this is how I live. My water usually stays back here mm -hmm. and it stays cooler so that I can have a few things like my almond creamer. Right. Got to have that good coffee. Yeah, stay cool back here. It's, it's amazing how well that works. And then I have a little bit of string cheese and my coleslaw. So it works real well to keep things cool. Mm -hmm. Now I have my little gas, uh, butane gas stove here. Mm -hmm. This is my little tub, the pop out tub for wh whatever I might need. And here is another Lego holder that holds my bowl and dishes. This is my little bottle that I can wash my hair with if I want to. Uh huh. Uh, but I usually just use a baby wipe. And then I use the vinegar water after the baby wipe with some paper towels to get the baby wipe uh, like soapy residue out. And it does a wonderful job of re reducing bed hair smell. <laughs> when I'm out, I have my little chair, my stove on my table, and I will follow the shade around the car with right. my little chair. Because, as we all know, the desert can get quite hot. Yes. And uh, because the car is so low, my chair needs to be low. Otherwise, I can't stay in the shade. Right. This is, this is the side that I don't come in and out on, the right. driver's side. I, uh, once I'm camping, oh, I push, push the seat forward and put my battery unit here. Mm -hmm. Thanks to you, I got the EB70. I was one of your first viewers on that video, ran right over to, to Blue Eddy and got this. And then my mom got me as a Christmas present, the 200 watt oh, panels. Oh, that's a good one. That are slid right behind. You'll see that on the other side. I actually have a potty. Mm -hmm, I see. It is a Coleman drink canister with bags. This little potty seat from Walmart fits right inside the rim there so that you don't have to sit on the sharp rim. And this is my good old Dollar Tree pea pot. Mm -hmm. I have- So down you have a pot to pee in. Yes, I do. This is my laundry bag. And underneath my, my little potty shelf here, I have bags of kitty litter that I'll use in the potty. Now let's come on over to the other side. This is the side that I come in and out on. That's my bed. Mm -hmm. So you've taken out the front seat or? The front seat is gone. The back seat is gone. Right. Which is almost the only way you can live exactly. in Exactly, yeah. Uh, because the seats don't lay down very well. Right. And you just can't sleep sitting up. I can't. People, uh, Some people do, but I don't know how. Yeah. My friend Brian helped me to get the seats out. He, he undid them. And then I made a cardboard cutout for him to cut the wood. Very good. 
had to make notches for the seat belts right. and the console and the shape of the foot area down here. So it goes all the way forward. It goes all the way forward. I My feet can go under here and all the way back. And it's about 72 inches long. Wow, that's great. Uh, but only about 20 inches wide. Are all pillows, all squishy. Mm -hmm. Have a harder foam pillow on the bottom sewed together like this, and then a softer foam pillow on the top sewed together like this. Right. I had a minimal area to work with, but yet I wanted it nice and thick, and these foam pillows uh, seem to be the answer for me. Right, so you're sleeping on this as a mattress. Yes, I That's am. Your mattress. Yeah. And I, I actually put a beach towel over top because my sheets are all connected underneath by safety pins and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So I found that this protects the sheets and this is easier to wash than taking the whole thing apart. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. If I get stuck in here for a day or two with rain, this becomes my seat. Mm -hmm. I put this to my back and I have actual floor down there for my feet. Right. My cup holder works great. And these little cup holder Kleenexes are fabulous. Yeah. Target. That's the only place I've found them. Yeah, I've not uh, seen that. This is my inside drawer unit. Can Legos, of course. Yeah, <laughs> Legos. And that's what I was showing uh, where it's wedged to the ceiling. Oh, yeah. When I'm in driving mode, I put things up against that, wedged all the way to the wall here so that the drawers won't come open. And there's the solar panel. You can see it mm -hmm. behind. It's, it's a huge panel, really but it fits beautifully there. And he had to put on a kind of a board down here. To right, get it all that was out. cover the seat bracket from the back seat. And uh, yeah, and that one's actually fastened to the bracket so it won't move. Usually I can, if I remember to put this out, this is a little Walmart lantern mm -hmm. that is solar and that's usually enough light Go at night. Car for the car. And actually, if, uh, you've got a, a large amount of solar, a 200 watt panel and yep. that uh, Blue Eddy is I do. really a lot of solar. Right, I could uh, plug a light in there. I could, uh, I charge my phone off of it. I, if I'm stuck in the car, I have a little heating lunch box. If I want to heat food, I also have a heating uh, little coffee cup. If I want to heat water in here and you can't you know if the weather is keeping you from coming out and using the butane stove right 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 i also keep a baggie a big baggie in this store for my yucky shoes <laughs> so i will sit down here and the first thing that comes off is the shoes because they're always dirty right they always dusty from the desert and, and they, they tuck right in there then believe it or not the feet somehow swing over and go over there <laughs> so i uh, do use my dashboard for some of my bigger items uh the first item is my uh backpack purse the second is my craft supplies the third is some clothes and the fourth the green one is my uh, shower backpack. So when you're in drive mode, they just come out and are Well, around. they're the, what I stack up to hold the drawers closed. All right, yeah, yeah. Everything has a purpose. Yeah, dual purpose. <laughs> dual, yeah. yeah. Well, you've got it all in there and, uh, and really well. Yes, and I thank you and Sue Ann for all the help I mean, the, the alcohol baby wipe cleaning is just 
all you really need. It is. The vinegar uh, water uh, dish cleaning is perfect. And then a friend told me about squirting your head with it, which is perfect. That's all I have in here as far as cleaning. Yeah. Life is great and fun. And why would I want a bigger vehicle when I have such wonderful gas mileage in this? Yeah, that's, uh, that's amazing. You've really accomplished it. This is my sixth trip out that's over a month long. Often they're month to two months long. And I have, of course, wheedled down each trip, but this is my final version. Everything in here is perfect to me. I don't think I'll be changing anything. Clothes. You always bring too many clothes yeah. the first trip. Now I'm down to the bare minimum. And uh, I've been out over a month and I haven't even done laundry. Right. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. That's really nice. I'm not afraid to wear the same outfit for a week. Yeah, me too. <laughs> as long as you're clean, your clothes are clean. Right. Other than dust. And right. there's nothing going to prevent that. Well, uh, Cindy, thank you so much for sharing your amazing Lego home, <laughs> uh, Fiat 500. And uh, it's astounding. If you can live in that, we can, we can live in almost anything. Yes, yes. I feel very safe in here. Uh, the sides are harder than a backpacking tent. Um, it's just snug as a bug in a rug. I, I really like it. Good. And thank you, Bob. It's my pleasure. I, I love hearing stories like yours. Uh, the best times of your life. Yes, That's the definitely. Goal. Yeah. So folks, if you got anything out of this, if you've been inspired, and if you haven't been inspired, what's wrong with you? Uh, if you've been inspired, <laughs> then like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now. <laughs>